Hello, Cadre, and everybody out there on YouTube. I was tagged in a video by Elmer Fudd to do a challenge he's starting up. It's called the 54321 Challenge. Uh, you can tell I'm not dressed for a shave, representing with my, uh, my Sea Shepherd hoodie, dressed for the weekend on a Wednesday. That's nice. Um, but this is just one of those, go through your stuff. You're supposed to pick five soaps, four poche products, three brushes, two razors, and one uh, blade, um, if you were forced to do so. I was stressed out about picking these things because, you know, look at all this stuff. Who can, who can narrow it down to that? Um, but actually, surprisingly, a few things kind of stood out um, and thinking about um, if I didn't have the choice that I did, what choice is what I want to have every day? Um, so starting with the soaps, in no specific order, start with Nuevia Rosa. This stuff, oh, it's got the performance. It's got scent that just knocks you off your socks good. Um, it, I don't believe that it's polarizing type of scent in that um, I wouldn't worry about using this and then like having to go to a meeting while we'll be right next to folks or in an elevator or something. But the scent is strong enough that it stays with you. You do not need to apply anything after that for like half of a day. You can still smell that stuff. Um, also, if you uh, watch me before, you know that uh, for me, the soaps have to have a great scent and their performance has to be okay. So in the vein of that, we got Sterling Christmas Eve. Uh, this is all about the scent. Sterling performance is fine um, for the dollar. It's a great soap, um, but this smacks you in the face with pine, and I love that. I don't want to have to give that up totally. Um, I've got their bar soap that smells just like pine trees. I use it every day. I don't get tired of it. Um, I love that smell. Um, the next one, got to get the GTB, baby. Chisel Face Ghost Town Barber, you get, yeah, I know, you get the leather, you get the smoke, you get the gunpowder. This is just an all around, I'm going to hit it up. Oh, man, and look at this. This is the, the lowest I am of any soap. I've never hit the bottom of a tub before, so that tells you a little something about that one. Fourth, CBL Roasted Oatmeal Stout. Again, you, you know they're good when you can't help but. Oh, the scent of this stuff is just off the hook, off the charts. Great stuff. Um, you smell a oatmeal cookie when you use this. It makes you feel all warm and happy inside. Don't want to give that one up. And the last one, kind of off the charts, off the radar, most folks. This soap is made by Razor Master. It's called Tiovo. And if you've never smelled this stuff, this is polarizing. You have got to love the smell of smoke fire, campfire stuff. Um, I've got several uh, smoky scents. I love them. Uh, you do got to be careful with them when you're using them, who's around you, who likes that kind of stuff. Uh, I picked this one because this is the most polarizing. This is the most straight up whew, smoky, intense smell of any of the soaps I have. So, um, I've got uh, Campfire, uh, thanks from Dave in Kentucky sending me that. That is a still awesome scent, but a little bit more tolerable. That one I'll use uh, when I go to work. You've got Texas on Fire from Sterling. This one, I'll be careful. When I use this, if I'm going to work it, I better not have a morning meeting right off the bat because it is intense. So, those are my five soaps. Uh, for post shave, oh, I didn't even pull these out because they're always at hand. So this was a little bit too easy for me. Um, Elmer Fudd, when he did it, he picked specifically like a, um, I don't remember what the first one was, but one was like a, something that included witch hazel, some that was an alcohol splash. He didn't really, I don't think you defined that you had to pick that way. So I'm going to go through, and this is just, post shave is post shave to me. So number one is an Allen block. Always, always can't give up my allen block and this is going to be boring choices right because this is just the stuff i use every day except for it's always exciting when you use there's lemon 
every day, every shave, brothers. There's lemon, and then the magical elixir of the two-in-one. Right? So those are the three I get four. So where did it go? Uh-oh. Nurse Dave is not prepared. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, it would be Nivea alcohol-free post-shave balm. So I use that um, when... I'm not taking the two in one with me if you need a little bit of hydration or something like that. So again, none of this stuff is, except for the Thayer's Lemon scented, that scent goes away right away. It's all about getting, getting the skin back to where it needs to be and being able to tolerate a shave the next day. Uh, so three, three brushes. These were easy for me to pick too. Got a bunch of brushes up there. I'll start with the one I probably use the most. So number one would just be the basic old Sterling Synthetic. I love the shape of this thing. Um, it's a workhorse. Um, I use it probably multiple times a week. Uh, this is my travel brush. Um, so just for that fact, um, if I actually only had one forever, it might be this one. Um, next one is another synthetic. It's made by um, Somatiu on the shaving cadre. Can you see that? We'll focus on their logo. This is their legacy brush or the group of us that were the first members of the shaving cadre. So that's kind of cool. But this is a performer. I love this. It's a synthetic knot, obviously, with the black and the white. And then look at that. You've got the grain. You've got some inlaid blue something in there. It is just a beautiful brush. It feels good in the hand. And then my last one is going to be my Paladin, this is my favorite Paladin. So this is a Neptune colored El Dorado shape Paladin brush. It's my favorite Paladin. Um, so when I want a badger, I uh, reach for this more than any other badger brush that I have. Razors. That was pretty easy for me to pick too, but the choice of the blade might screw this up. So <clears throat> one of the two, is the Blacklands Vector SE Razor. This thing is magical. I call it Merlin because I don't have to pay attention. Yet yeah, SEs are tend to known to be able to bite you pretty good. This thing, I don't worry about pressure. I don't worry about angle. It just happens. And I get a super dolphin screaming, baby butt smooth shave almost every time and no irritation. This is amazing. And the next one, I just, knocked out another razor with this my wife got me the black razor rock 6s rockwell rockwell 6s sorry um i had the the standard one again it was my workhorse my travel razor uh, when i want an excellent de blade shave um this performs every time still same thing bbs no alum sting but i have to pick one one uh, blade. And look at that. I also didn't get a blade up. Hold on. I'll grab that for you. I got them. They're right up here, actually. Feather. Go to go with Feather. Feather is the primo match for me in the 6S. Um, but it ain't going to fit in there. So if I was leaving house with everything I just said, I couldn't take the Vector and I replace that with a super speed. So if I had to pick two razors to just use this one blade in, it'd be the super speed and the 6S. So uh, Elmer Fudd did a little bonus at the end. So I'm going to give you a little bonus. If I had to pick one scent back there, and I kind of didn't want to narrow it down to two. I got two or three that I really love, but the one I can wear every single day that lasts all day long, that every time I smell it, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. Tom Ford. Oud Mineral, love this stuff. If I had to use this every day, I would not get tired of it. Um, and like I said, it lasts and I love it. So that would be that. So there you go. There's my five, four, three, two, one, plus one. Uh, I'm gonna tag Spider. I'm gonna tag Dave in Kentucky, you know what's coming. And then reaching out to YouTube land, I'm gonna tag Shoot in the Shave. I'll message him, let him know he's on this video. Uh, tell us what you would pick. Thanks for tagging me, Mr. Elmer Fudd, and see you on the forums.